welcome to the 70th lecture of digital electronics in this lecture we are going to deal with demultiplexer in the lectures from 62 to 69 we were dealing with uh, multiplexers so what is basically multiplexer multiplexer means you are having so many datas are having if you are dealing with a much you are having so many data coming in so many data are coming in to a much and depending on the selector switches say s1 s2 s3 etc these are data coming in and depending upon the selector switches one of the data channels will be selected okay so for example if it is D0 and depending on the combination of the selector switches D0 can be selected or D1 can be selected okay so that is basically MUTS MUTS means it is uh, you are having parallel data into serial data that is the concept of multiplexer now coming into D multiplexer or D MUTS okay it is known as data distributor known as data distributor here the specialty is that there will be only one data input only one line of data input will be there selector switches will be there there will be selector selectors or select switches select inputs and depending on the value of the select inputs these uh, data the input data is distributed into different lines say O1 O2 O3 etc you can have ON so the specialty is that this one input data can be connected to two raised to n devices can be connected into two raised to n devices and, we, and you, you are having n output lines and having n output lines okay now regarding select inputs if there are three select inputs we can connect up to 2 raised to 3 devices whereas if there are 4 select inputs you can connect up to 2 raised to 4 input uh, output lines ok 2 raised to 3 output lines ok so that is the relation between this number of select inputs and uh, outputs ok so that is basically a data the, the, that is basically the function of data distributor the one input line is distributed into different sets of outputs now, the, now what is the function of select input? The select input de it determines it determines through which output line through which output line the data input data input needs to be transmitted needs to be transmitted. Okay, so that is the that is the basic concept of a data distributor or D multiplexer okay. now coming into uh, uh, if you are if you are taking an, a classical example if you are taking a taking our uh, television it will have different channels the cable coming in is only one set of data and depending on the select inputs there what we are selecting there the corresponding fre the frequency of the channel is being selected by using the by using the remote and the corresponding channel is getting outputted so that is an example of D multiplexer okay. now coming into an example okay. so I am going to explain about one line to four line D multiplexer one line to four line D multiplexer or it is known as 1 is to 4 DMUTS 1 is to 4 DMUTS okay. so here there is only one input line one input line and four output lines okay. and to get this four output lines how many select inputs select inputs is just using these two select input we can have four output lines okay now how will I draw the true table of this one 
there is only one input okay there is only one input okay so let the input be data d this is my input okay now i am given the select this is select values so here what you are having is i am having two select inputs that is s2 and s1 okay now output there are four output lines so i am writing it as o o o o zero o one o two and o three okay. that gives the four outputs okay now only d is the input so i am having zero 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 one one zero and one one okay which is zero zero the output will come to come through o zero if it is 0 1 it comes to d1 if it is 1 0 it is o2 if it is 1 1 it is o3 okay now what is actually o0 that is the next question all other values will remain as 0 itself all other values will remain as 0 now i need to take this data through o0 that is a, that is my intention so what is osora basically osora is basically s2 bar s1 bar along with the data that is s2 bar s1 bar d what is o1 o1 is s2 bar s2 bar s1 d s1 d o2 what is o2 o2 is s2 s1 bar along with d s2 s1 bar along with d because whatever is in d you have to get transmitted now what is o3 o3 is s2 s1 d okay so these are the these are the output lines these are the output lines so here which is the input only d is the only input and depending on and depending on the value of the selector switches the, that output is getting formed okay now how to draw a logic circuit for this okay how to draw a logic circuit? So what we have is O0. O0 is S2 bar, S1 bar, D. This O1. O1 is O1 is S2 bar, S1, D. S2 bar, S1, D. And what is uh, O0 on O2? O2 is what is O2? O2 is S2, S1 bar, D. S2, S1 bar, D. And what is O3? O3 is S2, S1, D. For these four expressions, you need to you need to draw a single logic circuit. For these four expressions, you need to draw a single logic circuit. How to draw that? So D is the input along with S2. S2 is there. Then here what we have is S2 bar. Then S1 is there. Here what we have is S1 bar. Okay. Now, what is O0? O0 is S1 bar, S2 bar, D. So, you should have an AND gate. D is common. Okay. So, you will get O0. So, you should have 4 AND gates. 4 AND gates. 1, 2, 3, 4. For all these inputs, D is common, right? So, I can parallel out D. D is there. Here, D is there. Here also D is there. So D is getting parallel out. Okay. What is O0? O0 is S2 bar. S1 bar. Yeah. So you will get O0. What is O1? S2 bar is there. So it is S2 bar. S1 D. So S1 you have to take from here. Yeah. Here what do we get? Here what do we get is O1. What is O2? S2 is here. Then what do we take is S1 bar. Okay. So that is O2. What is O3? O3 I will take S2 and S1. Right. So S1 is here. And where is S2? Yeah, S2 is coming here. Okay. So this is O3. Okay. So these two are selector switches. Selector switches. And 
this one d is the data so one single data is is taken out in four output lines so that is why it is known as one is to four d multiplexer one is to four d multiplexer okay so here I, I I have explained the functioning of a one is to four d multiplexer now coming into next one next one is one line to eight line d multiplexer one line to eight line d multiplexer So, if it is 8 line, which means that obviously there will be 3 select inputs, because 2 raised to 3 becomes 8, that means we should have 3 select inputs. Now, I am drawing the truth table, so we should have 7 outputs, ok, with data input D, ok, now, so I, uh, I will draw a very simplified table. So, I am having three inputs, right? So, selectors are there. Selectors are there. So, it is. Yeah. This is S3, S2, S1. 8, 9, 9. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So if this is the case, what will come out? This is 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, and 0, 7. But actually, actually what is 0, 0? 0, 0 means S3, S3 bar, S2 bar, S1 bar along with D. So you should write 0, 0 is S3 bar. S2 bar, S1 bar, but here you have forgotten the data, so you have to take the data also, D. Now what is O1? O1 is S3 bar, S2 bar, S1, D. What is O2? O2 is S3 bar, S2, S1 bar, D. What is O3? O3 is S3 bar, S3 bar, S2, S1, D. Now, what is O4? O4 is S3, S2 bar, S1 bar, D. What is O5? O5 is equal to S3, S2 bar, S1, D. What is O6? O6 is S3, S2, S1 bar, D. What is O7? O7 is S3, S2, S1, D. Okay. So you got the expression for uh, for the these are the eight outputs, and D is the only input. That is why it is one is to eight D modes. Now how to draw a logic circuit for this one? Right. Okay. So I need to draw a logic circuit for this one. So D is the input. Okay. I'm having D as the input, and D is given to for all that is D 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So D is all there. So D is getting paralleled. Yeah. So D is getting Panel. Now, before using a uh, NOT gate, I will just draw in a simple way. Now I am having S2 and S2 bar. Again, S1 and S1 bar. Okay. Now, in which order? S3, uh, uh, then S3 and S3 bar. That is that. S3 and S3 bar. Okay, and anyway, I will write in order. I think that will be good for you to understand. Yeah. What is the first element? S3. So S3 bar is there for the first four, right? 
so you can write S3 bar S3 bar is there for the first four 1 2 3 4 now come to uh, S3 S3 is for the next four you can, write, you can make X3 S3 here ok I'll do it with a different different color this is S3 S3 is here S3 is there for the next four one two three four so I have I have drawn S3 bar and S3 now come into S2 S2 and S2 bar ok so coming to S2 S2 is there for, S2 is there for, sorry, S2 bar, first two, S2 bar is there for, first, second, one, uh, first one, uh, S2 bar, S2 bar is there for, first one, second one, then, third and fourth is not there, so you can take it directly here, Correct. Okay, there we have S2 bar, right? For all, for all of this, what we have is S2, right? So, how do you take this S2? S2 is there for where? Where? So, this is O0, O1, O2, O3, O4, O5, O6 and all side. Now S2 is there for what? S2 is S2 is there for O2, O3, O2, O3, O6, O5. Right, that is it. S2 is there for O2, O3, then O6 and O5. So S2 and S2 bar over. Now coming into S1 and S1 bar. Coming into S1 and S1 bar. So S1 and S1 bar. Yeah. S1 is there for O1, 1, 3, 5, 7. 1 is there for 1, 3, 5, 7. We can draw directly. 1 is there for 1. One. From there you can have three. One three is there. Now coming into five. And last one is seven. Yeah. Now S1 bar. S1 bar is there for zero, two, four, six, right? S1 bar is there for zero, two, four, and six. S1 bar is there for 0 then coming into 2 and have 2 here 2 then coming into 4 to 4 and coming into six. Yeah. That is a message over there. Yeah. So that is this is basically D multiplexer. Okay. So, I think you have understood the concept of demultiplexer. So, here what happens is that this is fully, this is only one input, only one input and there are eight output lines. Okay. So, this is a classical example of uh, demultiplexer. Okay. Now, 
to brief about this lecture we have started with what is done by maths then what now after that we have explained about demaths so uh, the major advantage of using demaths is you can attach two resistance de devices with n output lines and that two resistance again depends on number of select inputs then uh, we have dis discussed about uh, one line to four line demaths and we have drawn the logic circuit of one line to four line demo. Then coming into uh, the one line to eight line demultiplexer. Here, here I have given the outputs as O0, O1, O2, O3, O4, O5, O6, and O7. But to get O0, you should add D also. Okay. Right. So I have, so I have not drawn in such a way. So uh, whatever is coming in O0, that is S3 bar, S2 bar, S1 bar, that, that should be along with the D. So that is S3 bar, S2 bar, S1 bar, D. Okay, otherwise, it, otherwise it, uh, if you want to get D, it, it will be in a diagonal pattern. Like this. It will be in a diagonal pattern like this. So you will get, you will get up to O8 along with the D in the diagonal pattern. Okay. So that is the only difference what, what, is, uh, so what we have here. But the, that, is because I, uh, that is because I have drawn the truth table in a very, uh, very simplified form. Okay. And after that, we have formulated the logic circuit of a one line to to eight line or one is to eight demos. This is basically one is to eight demos. Okay. Hope you have got the idea of forming a demultiplexer circuit. Okay. So thank you. And in the next lecture we we will continue uh, we will continue something with demultiplexer or we will go to the okay so for the time being I am st for the time being I am stopping here and in the next lecture we will go with a entirely new topic so from the lecture 62 to 70 we are in an overall we were dealing with multiplexer demultiplexer we were dealing with multiplexer and different combinations of multiplexer how to take this multiplexer into different applications like um, uh, different applications in logic and some more from multiplexer then realization of multiplexer using different combinations like that and in this lecture we have dealt with a small lecture on demultiplexer so in the next lecture we will start with the first topic yeah thank you